Hello, everyone. This is Shag, bringing you another thing. It was voted that I do two things at once rather than focus on one, like it might be a more sane idea. But hey, who am I to deny people when I specifically ask them what they want? So we're gonna be fighting some Tohos. Or as this game calls them... Tohomon. Blue version! See, this is not the original Tohomon, but it is a very heavily based on the original Tohomon, using a lot of the sprites and so on. It's blue version because it was made by an English speaker, so it's already translated, and its big draw is non-linearity. Basically, you can, like, totally skip Brock if you feel like it. For example, the various buttons will be explained in order of their importance. None of them are important unless you have no idea what you're doing. Also, Pikachu doesn't exist. Hello there! Glad to meet you! Welcome to the world of Toho. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Toho Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Toho. For some people, Toho are pets. Others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Toho as a profession. That's, like, really creepy. Like, seriously, if you replace Professor Oak's Pokémon with Toho, it becomes, like, ten times creepier. Anyway, what kind of girl are you? A tomboy or a lady? Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is interesting. Because I'm totally not a girl, but... Whatever I want, I'm not. Anyways... I guess the term always closes. By the way, none of this is actually going to be very surprising to me until, like, past Mount Moon, because that's how far I played this to test it. Should mention that now. So, as an attempt to adapt ourselves into this newfangled gender switch that we're going into, I will call myself the closest analog to my name that the female gender can acquire. It fits in these spaces. So meet Shaget. Right, so your name is Shaget. Indeed it is, my good sir. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. Blah, 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 blah. Son? Toho has... guys in it? Oh wait, we already saw Professor Oak. It's like, hardly surprised me. But I think I will name him something appropriate for the gender ratio. Uh, was it Walaga? Yes, indeed it was. You are terrible at naming your children, Prince Oak. Your very own Toho legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Toho awaits. And so... Welcome to Pokemon Fire Red. I mean, a hack of Pokemon Fire Red. First things first, remember which buttons are which, and fix the tech speed so I don't kill myself. Also, I'm totally using stereo. Look at all the pretty colors, oh my god. Because the, the thing you want to see most when you're watching someone do a Pokemon hack LP is messing with the freaking menus. Shag staring at menus too, coming this summer. Too bad it's Christmas. As usual, there's a potion in the PC. And the bookshelf is crammed full of Toho books. That's the thing about RPGs. They're always, like, crammed full of difficult books. I'm like, wow, all RPG characters are idiots. If only it said, like, crammed full of lunatic difficulty books. Now, that would have been great. What's on TV? Four boys are walking on a railroad tracks. That's not what it said. Oh, boys leave home, Mom. What? 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 <laughs> what is a boy? I don't understand this terminology. As you know, talk go Professor Oak does not appear until you attempt to go into the grass. So let's just expedite proceedings and get through the intro. While Toho live in tall grass, I believe... The original Japanese for this was Toho Puppet Play, and the backstory was like, see, all the wild Tohos are like little puppet things, they're like Tohos, and people were like, hey, that's kind of okay, let's let them propagate. 
So you know you know how Pokemon goes. Here, have a Pokemon. Your rival's gonna pick the opposite one, except these are Tohomons. So what are our starters? Well, you have Reimu, who is a huge jerk, so no. And then we have Sakuya, who is a less interesting character in my opinions, so no. And here we have Marissa, who's... yes. <laughs> we received C. Marissa from Prof Oak. And, well, explaining the C. Marissa part. Most Tohomans start in chibi form, and then evolve into different forms, but they remain the same character, as would make sense. There are probably some exceptions to this rule. By the way, you start with any shoes. Let's check out our Toho! I'll take you on! I think I'm going to record this like my... Oh, okay. High help system. I forgot to turn you off. Get out of my laboratory. Anyway, these are not really opposite, just throwing that out there. Sakuya is like ice type, Marissa is electric, and Reimu is normal, I believe. But that's not really the point. Whatever I was talking about was probably this. I think I'm going to film this a lot like my Pokemon Gold LP. That is, it's not going to be ultra professionalism. I'm probably going to use a lot of, like, this, just to speed things up, you know. Oh no, I lost. Marissa's not the strongest physical fighter, you you would probably figure that out. How disappointing! Shut up, Oak. Go grow some moss on your face. Or be poisoned or something. I'll make my toe a battle to Kevadoobadoo. You know how it goes. And now, since the game actually never tells you what to do next in Pokémon, though there's not much you can do, let's proceed upwards into the north. Welcome to Wild Pokémon Battles. The first route contains Pokémon such as... Mystia... Um... Aya... Uh... Kaneko, for some reason. I remember seeing one of those, they're pretty rare. Um, geez, I don't know. The roots seem to have a lot of things. So we'll see what we run into. But most importantly, we'll get some freaking Pokeballs ASAP, so none of this chan None of the terrible shenanigans happen. You may also note that some Pokemon, I mean Tohomon, such as Chan up there are male. Don't read too much into this. I don't think that was intentional. Just to throw that out there, but I guess that means you can use Attract to make lesbians if you so desire. Just throwing that out there too. But I'm not gonna throw it too far because that's kind of something. So yes, welcome to the least professional LP this side of my other one that's going on. Uh, gotta get Pokeballs. Hello, you come from Pallet Town. Do you want to take this parcel to Professor Oak? Yes, I do. Okay, let's go. Ah, let's take the rocky routes. This way, we don't have to run into wild Tohomon, so we don't have to- Oh no, I'm an idiot. Oh, it's Chad. You know how this goes. Some people actually like my Pokemon Gold LP. Unlike me, who hates everything I did in the past. Look, Marissa has Thundershock. So, so, uh, now she can... Now she can fight back when shopkeepers try to zap her for stealing. Okay. How is my old Toho? You got my parcel? Okay, I have stuff. Hello, it's your rival. He thinks you smell. Have a Toho Dex. Now you can look up the Tohos in the Toho Dex. Blue de blue de blue de blue de blue de blue de blue. So the main point of this LP is going to see my reactions to all the Tohos showing up and trying to do things in a non-linear fashion, which will no doubt end in hilarious mishaps. Okay. So let's start catching some Tohos. A eh? what? Uh, numerical would help. Ahem! <coughs> See Marissa, the white black doho, an apprentice witch who is always full of energy, likes to gather mushrooms. And now that we know that, it's time to forge ahead into the wilderness, which is not very wilder, once again. What do we got? What do we got? Hello, Aya. Grim male Aya. What a news story that'll be. Aya accidentally male. Nobody knows why. Oh! There's another news story. Critical hit, everyone dies. 
The RNG must be sexist. Suwako! Suwako is pretty rad and adorable, is what I'm gonna say here. Jesus, another critical? You might also notice that Suwako's genderless. I have nothing much to say about that. Perhaps it pertains to the theory. God dang it, Marissa! Stop stealing the RNG's favor when you don't need it. Come on, let's freaking catch something already. I'm guessing I Aya is either the bad attack or the Pidgey, as you might imagine. It also has speed boost, which is probably going to make it cheap in some sense of the word. So let's throw a Toho Ball, which is totally not a Pokeball. So hey everyone, when you play Pokemon, what's the combination of buttons that you hit when the Toho Ball, I mean Pokeball, I mean red and white orb, hits the guy? For me personally, I hit A and B at the same time. Except I forgot to do there, which is obviously why I failed to catch the C-I-I over here. You caught freaking stuff. Heck yeah. A young Tengu girl greatly enjoys gossip and proud of her speed. Height one foot. Yeah, Aya's totally one foot tall. So, now that we've caught our first Toho Mon, I guess we can... I don't know, nothing really interesting going on yet. We'll get around to interesting. I suppose I'll also have to have you people vote on which Tohos I continue to Toho around with, that is to say, use. But rather than having, like, explicit votes, I will just be like, hey, at the end of videos, why don't you be like, I think you should use bloop de blue and I'll be like, maybe I'll consider what you're saying, but maybe you're an idiot. So we'll find out. <laughs> Mystia was caught. A young night sparrow loves to sing all day. I'm assuming the descriptions get more elaborate as they evolve. I hate fucking space limits. Good enough. Who else is in the grass? I've only got two, like, things, I think. Chen! Chen, while adorable, does not seem to be very useful in this game. Naturally, that will probably not dissuade many of you to yell at me to use Chen. Chen, Chen, Chen. Chinny, Chen, Chen. Indeed. A young cat girl who specializes in the art of black magic. Chen is twice the height of Aya if the Pokedex is to be believed. I honestly don't think they bothered changing the weights and heights. There's only one possible name for this. And there it is. Should probably get some more Toho balls so I can Toho the Tohos and you know that. All of that stuff. I don't want to read signs. I accidentally did anyway. And so, this is how I always start Pokemon. I spend all of my money on as many Pokeballs, I mean Toho Balls, as I can carry. Then I run around and throw stuff at them. I mean, I throw them at stuff. I don't think throwing a Pokemon at a Pokeball or a Toho at a Toho Ball would be the most convenient means of catching anything. Do -do 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 -do. So let's run around and look for more stuff. This is the most exciting episode I've ever seen. You have no idea. Oh yeah, I found a shop. Go write newspaper stories in hell. Okay. Maybe not. Might as well use a double opportunity as for grinding Marissa here while we're looking for stuff. But come on. This route has like six things on it. I know that you're hiding something in there. With all your cover-ups, freaking conspiracy papers. Also, your terrible singing is not acceptable. Heck yeah. I will probably do grinding off screen based on the feedback that I get, rather than bore all of you with, I'm gonna grind on screen with like super speed up and wacky music. Oh yeah, Chen is ground type, I forgot. 
but you know. Who knows? Maybe grinding was be in popular demand. Let's check the other route, actually. I say as I continue to check this route. Oh, uh, uh, uh. I'm sure this is like the most blazingly exciting, interesting thing you've watched this season. Oh no, it's medicine. Soon enough, there'll be no medicine left. I hate you, medicine. You and your stupid slow gas. See, I, I liked Medicine and Frost when I started playing Phantasmagoria, freaking long name. But then, but then her little attack thing, Slow Gas, is kind of cheap. Also, she does that, so I don't really like her in this game either. She can go have a dose of her own medicine, or something like that that's equally pun-tastic. But you! Yay, you caught Medicine. You also caught the disease. A doll turn yokai. Never leaves the lily of the valley field, so she's ignorant of the ways of the world. Mm. What can we name such a terrible person? Well, we can always resort to terrible jokes and maybe possibly misspellings based on ignorance. I don't even know. Honestly, I don't. Don't ask. It's Sane! I didn't know she was around here, so now I am genuinely surprised. Sane is a character that I don't really know if I like or not, to be honest. She's pretty fun to play as in the fighting game. However, she seems like she's even more of a jerk than... than, uh, what's-her-face? Um, Rainbow, sometimes. Talking about the Tohos, I just don't know about. A shrine maiden, identified by her distinctive blue and white colors, serious and benevolent. I question you. So, it, I was demanded to make silly names for everything, so I will try my best to make terrible puns and make all of you groan. Also, I am trying my best to not care that Marissa is slowly dying in order for the discoveries and science-tastic stuff that's going on here. Whatever. Whatever, man. Whoa. Marissa, no. No, you're okay. I don't care. I don't know how many Tohomans evolved from happiness, but I think Telly, that's Tay for you pedantic people, is one of them. Also, Marissa has pickup, which means she usually has a bunch of ridiculously overpowered crap. Like, what is TM10? Jesus. Bride study? A self-healing move that restores- I have- Marissa just gave me a healing move before I even got to the second town that everybody can freaking learn! See, look, look, Mar look, how does she do that? How do you do it, Marissa? How do you do the things that you do? Anyway, let's go ahead and check out what we have so far. Marissa, I mean Marissa, is lonely. Aw, poor Marissa. Marissa needs all the hugs from everybody she is shipped with, which I do not have a comment on. Iodactyl is lax. That sounds about right for any Toho character. Miss Compass is brave. Well, Misty is kind of an idiot. She also has a unique ability, increasing the encounter rate. Chen is timid. That's kind of adorable. She also has Run Away, which is an invaluable ability in a non-linear Pokemon game. You can just run all over the place and see the sights and see what there is to see and all that junk. Medicine is careful, which is completely opposite of her personality, and... Hmm, grass and water. Sine is Ludicolo. That is great to know. And promotes added effects, and already has safeguard. What interesting things. See, this is why this isn't interesting, because they make Pokémon... Well, quote-unquote Pokémon, a lot more interesting by adding more interesting moves, types, and so on earlier in the game. I approve heartily. Also, most of the Toho things are adorable sometimes, so there's always that. Let's run around and catch a few more junk before we call the first episode 
which is going to be really freaking boring as crap. Uh, so yeah. Maybe we should head on into the forest or something. Heck if I know. I don't even know how long I've been playing. Actually, I can look at the playtime. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? I've only been playing for half an hour. You know what? That's about my episode time. I'm gonna have a coffee. I'm gonna show you how to catch the Tohomots. Oh man, look, it's a turtle. I'm an old man. I, I like the little fairies. Yes, I do. I, I give me my dentures every night. I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll through my slowness and put a toe wall. But the fairy, I'm gonna get a fairy. Oh my god, Cerno. I'm, I'm dead. dead. I, I, I'm 90 years old. Oh, oh I got a Cerno. That's what's, what's, what is coffee? I forgot. Oh man, I'm old. That was totally educational, and so was this video. See you next time, everybody. See you next time. In the interest of giving you guys an actual diverse amount of choices, I went and did some grinding and finished up catching what was in this early area. So everything's at least level 7. Let's take a look at what we have. First, we'll look at another item. Why, thank you. First, Marissa here is level 11. Lonely, electric type, pick up, and has now learned thief. Marissa is probably the one I'm definitely keeping on my team. Along with someone with Runaway, most likely. Now let's check out the box. I was right after all, there are Kanakos, so we have a quirky one. They are electric and grass. They have pressure and thundershock and vine whip. Very nice type coverage for early on. Aya here has learned Gust, and that's basically it. Now, there's also Hatate, who decided to show up, and, well, her little icon is even like Aya's except recolored. They seem to be almost exactly the same, except Hatate looks to have a little more special attack, overall lower stats, although she's a level lower. They have the same attacks, even. She's also jolly which might be bad for her special attack. Medicine here is still lame. Chen continues to be adorable and has now learned quick attack. Suwako, serious Suwako, has water ground type, water veil that prevents burns, and has bubble and mud slap. Sene, has now learned the water gun. And Mystia has not learned anything yet. Probably would at the next level or something. So it's up to you, I suppose. How do I form a party of six? If you don't feel like contributing, I'll just come up with something on my own before I record more episodes. So, this has been Shag for real this time. Hopefully this is mildly enjoyable at least.